the Magic have eliminated the best team in the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Magic go to the NBA Finals. You were crying a little bit after the game. What does it mean to you to make the finals? I've been having dreams about this, you know, for the longest. And uh, fourth quarter, it started to hit me that, you know, we, this is our chance. And I sat on the bench, and Coach thought I was tired. And I put the towel over my head because I was trying. I didn't want nobody to see that I had tears coming out. Now at the end of the game six, the end of the game that clinches this series, LeBron doesn't come over and shake your hand. What would you think of that? <laughs> uh, I just thought he would have, you know, said something to me. You know, uh, said something to the team. Uh, but, you know, he's probably upset, probably hurt. And I understand that, respect it. Um, one day we'll see each other, and uh, have to wait till then. You're surprised, though. A little surprised. Yeah, you messed that up too. You told me a couple times during this series you wanted it to be over quickly because you wanted to get all that Kobe Lebron, Kobe Lebron off TV. How did you feel about that? How disrespected was that a feeling for you? Well, you know, it was very disrespectful. It was like uh, they just counted us out. Like we wasn't, we didn't have a chance to win. And, you know, I took that, you know, like we weren't a good team. That's how I felt like everybody was saying we wasn't a good team. Nobody expected us to win this series but us. I heard that after the Olympics, you carried that gold medal around so much. People thought it was attached to you. What did that Olympic experience teach you about winning that you can apply now in these finals? We got the gold medal. And, you know, I bring it everywhere I go. I still do. You yeah? Know, yeah, everywhere I go, it's in my bag. Are you going to bring the gold medal to Los Angeles? It'll be there with me. It goes everywhere I go. Bryant for three. Puts it in. Kobe Bryant from downtown. You played with Kobe Bryant in the Olympics. You've played against him plenty. What have you learned that's going to help you in this series? Don't let him get going. <laughs> He's tough when he gets going. And he has a killer instinct. And, you know, I think the biggest thing with their team is when he's rolling everybody else, they play off him and they feed off him. Patrick Ewing told me he thinks you're only 20, 30 percent of the potential that you could reach. How accurate do you think that is? I would say 20. 20? Yeah, I got a long way to go. I understand that. And, you know, we talk about it all the time. I know that I'm not a good player yet. I know I got a long way to go. But uh, that just keeps me motivated. Let me ask you about one of your biggest assets there on the court, your strength. I heard you were kind of a skinny kid. There was a day when Rachel Nichols could push me around in the post. I don't believe you. There was a day when I was the skinniest guy in my school. You could see my heartbeat when I took my shirt off. And every time I went to the gym, everybody would say, you, you trying to go to the NBA? Why are you too little? After that, I was like, I need to get big. Your stuff on the court, but then off the court. Got a little bit of a personality there. I hear that you give great impressions. I got to get you going here. Give me your Stan Van Gundy. Go, run, move, Dwight. What are you doing? We got to get into it right now. We're not ready for their intensity and their quickness. Dwight, can you get a rebound with two hands? Patrick, talk to Dwight. He's not making free throws. Ah. <sighs> Hit a stay, there we go.